Hello and welcome to the Business Standard Banking Show. Bandhan Bank, uh, which recently announced its third quarter earnings, reported around two and a half times jump in its net profit to 733 crore, mainly due to fall in provisions. However, slip slippages were elevated. Also, the bank is in the news as the National Credit Guarantee Trustee Company is auditing its loans for which it has provided an insurance. To clarify some of these issues and speak on the future growth path of Bandhan Bank, we today have Chandrasekhar Ghosh, the MD and CEO of Bandhan Bank. Mr. Ghosh, welcome to the show. Thank you, uh, Manoj. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, so let me start with uh, and quickly check about the latest issue which is going around. Is the uh, I mean, wanted to know why is the National Credit Guarantee Trustee Company is conducting a forensic audit on the loans, uh, which is the audit, uh, the audit has been conducted by EY. So what is the reason for this audit? If you see that the uh, under this the insurance, uh, we are in the time of 2021 of financial year, we are uh, whatever the normally we are given the credit to the customer and the, that alone under this the scheme are insured. So that the government scheme, we are heavily on that. Second point on that, when that time was in a portfolio is in uh, nearly 20,000 crores on that. And uh, those, those the portfolio are not repaid. That means out of that, the 85% of the portfolio, 19,000 crores, the customer already paid to us. And the balance, whatever you say that the uh, uh, nearly 3,000 crores around on that. And that amount are uh, their NPA is the less than 15%, uh, sorry, more than 15%. So those of this, the portfolio are coming under this, the claim settlement from the insurer, which is called as a NG, NCGTC. So according to that, the first trans last year, there is a restriction on that. You can be like to one time, uh, apply in a year, not more than one time. Second is there the uh, this portfolio will be like to six months minimum matured of the NPA. That means up to the NPA, they will be like to more than uh, three, uh, six months. Yes. And yes. there is a 29 lakhs of this customer in like on that. So when we apply the first time, we got that money. And next time, uh, this financial year, we applied the second trans and they are asking to uh, audit on that. And uh, I feel that it is an, it is an, uh, this money is a big, so it's a need to check on that. That's everything is in like to perfect. And uh, when this happened, then then some queries have been asked and we are provided some queries. When he provided that queries, they would like to again further check whatever we are reply and it is in how much it is in correct. That will be need to further uh, audit of the details with the total portfolio because of the first time they are done in a sample basis and sample is right. a small amount of that. So this is the second term. They are doing it on that as a full data. And they are asking the different uh, this data from us, and we are provided their data. And this is going on whenever it will be like to finish on that report. And then they will be like to uh, given that decision and will be like to money come back. So you're saying that because your claims were around 2000 crore, that is why this audit was required. And, and the amount involved right now which is not yet recovered is 3000 crore involving 29 lakh customers. Yes, correct. So that is why the audit is, but is it a forensic audit really? They have put it, the name is a forensic. I feel that it is in very detailed set of audit of that. Is the, are, are you, is the regulator also in touch with you regarding the entire process? No. So that is a, that is a stressed asset one, one could like to classify correct. that as a stressed part, how much of this you think can slip to a slip? Uh, this has already slipped. This NPS it has already is slipped. already slipped. Another point is, Manoj, mm -hmm. 
this is the total portfolio 89% already we provisioned provisioned 89% of the total portfolio which, which had slipped has already been totally provisioned. provisioned and if you see that at the 20% as of now the out of 970 crores we already recovered recovered right right now now the other issue is the, which has come out from your results is the level of slippages uh, which has raised some concern among investors the the q3 slippages were 1390 crore slightly higher than q q2 q q4 or q1 so do you th i mean of course you have said that uh, one of the 45 percent of the uh, slippages are due to system migration uh, followed by the festive season so I, do you if i uh, please continue yeah yeah so my question is that do you expect going forward in the next few quarters slippages to stay elevated or it can come down the sleep is as going come down no future this is the first point how and why if you see that the the major of our portfolio is in specifically in microcredit which is called the eeb portfolio and this eeb portfolio if we see that in the last pandemic time whatever if you see that in the 2000 2021 and 21 22 and 22 23 and now it is coming 23 24 so this is the portfolio totally if i mentioned on that the 22 23 up to whatever the portfolio it is in 15 percent of the total microcredit portfolio 85 percent of this the portfolio is making on that which is dispersed in this financial year so whatever that the 85 percent the portfolio there are the biggest portfolio of microfinance we saw that the as of now the npa is in 0.11 percent in the eb portfolio eb portfolio which is only 35 crores okay so if I say that in the same portfolio in the last financial year, whatever we have given in the time of the last financial year, first, second and third quarter, all those portfolios that time was in NP and addition or 2%. So if I say that the matured of the portfolio, if it is in nine months on that, in here is a 0.11 and last year it was a point, uh, 2 percent so it has been showing on that the quality of the portfolio are coming back second part of the what if the 15 percent of the earlier uh, portfolio no if it is say that the 60,000 crores is a total portfolio is in less than that i have been for calculation so Agent 60,000 means in the 9,000 crores, as a is suppose on that. And these are the portfolio are up to the September, up to the, the last financial year portfolio. It is more or less has been come as an NPA. Whatever the balance amount in here, maybe at another two, three thousand crores, they are this financial year or next financial year, next six months, it will be like to close. Okay. So whenever you'd like to say that my NPA, it is already we are provisioned. In that sense, this is a one side. And second point, I saw that the DPD, zero, SMA zero, SMA one, SMA two. These are the three together. First quarter was in a 5.6%. Second quarter, it has come to this the 4.4%. And this quarter, it has come 3.4%. That means the DPD 0, 1, 2 are coming down 1% quarter on quarter. Third point I mentioned to you on that, the last three quarters, first quarter, my, our 
स्लीप इज ओनली थर्टीन हंड्रेड फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड अराउंड थर्टीन हंड्रेड क्रोर्स रिकवरी अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड क्रोर्स इच क्वार्टर राइट एंड नेट एन पी ए इनक्रीज नाइन हंड्रेड क्रोर्स एज ऑन दैट द सेम लेवल ऑन दैट एंड माई प्रोविशन of this npa portfolio every quarter 600 crores if this all parameters if you see that our everything is a control that means the steady basis not any fluctuate on that okay so recovery is the point you mentioned steady recovery of 400 crore however the recovery part is slightly lower than market expectation do you expect the recovery figures to go up in the coming quarters You, yes you are yeah, we are expected on that if you see that other part the micro credit is actually this is an uh, thinking about the customer behavioral credit up to financial year 22 they are not even possible to attend the group meeting Thank you. that have been finished and 22 23 they are started to come to the attendance and not in a full time full time means in the earlier as a pre pandemic not like that 50% 60% 70% that has come bonding has not yet come fully because bonding will be come late time time taken process on that yes yes no uh, because if you say that the customer is divided in a two part one part before the pandemic customer do know that about the bonding and attendance but those are after the pandemic we are taken or during the pandemic uh, after that in the 2020 uh, 21 22 22 23 23 new customer are taken they are not getting that much of the time on that to bonding and attendance matter as a practice so that it has been helped on that to some slippage has come so gotcha. what we see that the 23 24 this is a very good bonding at attendance has come such a way This which year. have been shows that the data also shows that the slippage has come down so that is the point on that the next final share onwards it will be the pre pandemic type of behavior like to show you right the consumer behavior will shift to pre pandemic level from the next financial year right it will be more of a normal year so far as customer behavior is concerned correct coming to the loan growth that is the one one um, silver lining uh, loan growth was very healthy 8% at quarter and quarter growth do you expect the loan growth momentum to continue in the fourth quarter also if you see that the fourth quarter always is a uh, better than the third quarter this, this always is always happen on that so we are also saw that there is a trend has come on that consumer demand has come also good on that so that is the that is the point is that when the business is going good mm. and because of the if you see rural economy growing good because of the connectivity have been continuously developing the road connectivity with the rural which helped on that the rural people are getting the access of the market which is a urban and getting that that they are making the business to their rural and so that it is a business opportunities and increase in a rural right of course it is also depend on that the sum of the crop production that is also we saw that very good improvement has come to this the per capita income increase in the rural people is better than that also compared to the other uh, segment on that note mr ghosh it was a pleasure talking to you as always uh, thank you for speaking to business standard thank you uh, manojit is after a long time i get the chance to talk with you will be like to happy on that will be happy thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you If you like this video share it and subscribe to Business Standard for more news views and insights log on to www.business-standard.com do also follow us on YouTube Twitter Facebook Instagram Telegram and LinkedIn I am the blue of the
the limitless sky. I am the inspiration that lets success so high. I will achieve. Trusted Bank, SBI, SBI the banker SBI. to every Indian.